Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in Hartley Oscillator. In a Hartley Oscillator, if L1 is equal to 0.2 milli Henry, L2 is equal to 0.3 milli Henry, and C is equal to 0.003 microfarad, calculate the frequency of its oscillations. So in the solution part, first we have to write the given data that is L1 is equal to 0.2 milli means 10 to the power minus 3 Henry. L2 is equal to 0.3 into 10 to the power minus 3 Henry. C is equal to 0.003 into 10 to the power minus 6. Micro means 10 to the power minus 6 farad. So we are going to find out the frequency of oscillation. Its formula is F is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi square root of C into L equivalent. Where L equivalent is equal to L1 plus L2. We have to simply substitute those values here. 0 0.2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 plus 0 0.3 into 10 to the power of minus 3. That is equal to 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3. So we have to substitute this L equivalent value and the capacitance value over here to get the frequency of oscillation. So here f is equal to by 2 pi square root of 0 0.003 into 10 to the power of minus 6 that is the value of capacitance and L equivalent value is 0 0.5 10 to the power of minus 3. Then we can get the value as 129.95 into 10 to the power 3 hertz. Here 10 to the power 3 means kilo. So it can be written like this. So this is the answer. Okay. So next problem is in a Hartley oscillator L1 is equal to 20 milli Henry and C is equal to 100 picofarad. Calculate L2 for a frequency F is equal to 100 kilohertz. Also find the gain of the transistor. Okay. So here they have given us L1 value, C value and F value. We are going to find out L2 and the gain of the transistor amplifier. Okay. In the solution part first we have to write the given data. L1 is equal to 20 milli Henry. C is equal to 100 picofarad. F is equal to 100 kilohertz. We are going to find out L2 and HFE. Okay. So here we have to use the formula F is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of C into L equivalent, where this L equivalent is equal to L1 plus L2. So we have to find out the value of this L2. Okay, so for that we need to get the value of this L equivalent from this formula. It is inside the square root. Then we have to square on both the sides. F squared is equal to 1, 1 by 4 pi squared C into L equivalent. Then we have to move this L equivalent to this side and move this F squared to this side. Okay. Then we can get L equivalent is equal to 1 by 4 pi squared C into F squared. As we know the values of C and F, we have to substitute those values here. So 1 by 4 into pi squared, 100 into 10 to the power minus 12. Pico means what? Pico farad. Pico means 10 to the power minus 12. So capacitance value is 100 into 10 to the power of minus 12 and F squared. F value is 100 kilohertz. Okay. Then we can get the value of this L equivalent as 25.33 into 10 to the power of minus 3 Henry. This can be written as 25.33 milli Henry. So we have obtained the value of equivalent inductance value that is equal to L1 plus L2. As we know the value of L1, we have to substitute the values L equivalent and L1 in this formula to get the value of L2. 25.33 in 10 to the power of minus 3 is equal to 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 plus L2. Then we have to move this value to this side as a minus 1. Then we can get L2 value as 5.33 into 10 to the power of minus 3. That is nothing but milli Henry. Do you all understand? Next, the gain of the amplifier HFE is equal to the ratio of L1 to L2. So we know the values of L1 and L2. We have to substitute those values here and we can get the value as 3.75. This is the gain of the amplifier. Do you all understand this? Next problem. It is very very important. 
In Hartley oscillator, L1 is equal to 20 milli Henry and C is equal to 100 picofarad. Calculate L2 for a frequency 100 kilohertz. The mutual inductance between L1 and L2 is 5 micro Henry. So in this problem, they have given us the mutual inductance between L1 and L2 that is 5 micro Henry. So we have to find out the required gain of the transistor. Okay. So here the given data sir, L1 is equal to 20 milli Henry, C is equal to 100 picofarad, F is equal to 100 kilohertz, M is equal to 5 micro Henry. We are going to find out L2 and the gain HFE. Okay. So similar to the previous problem, we have to use the frequency formula F is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi square root of C L equal N. Okay. So here we have to find out the value of this L2. For that we need to find out L equivalent first. So here we can square on both the sides. F squared is equal to 1 by 4 pi squared C L equivalent. Then we can move this L equivalent to this side and move this F squared to this denominator. Then L equivalent is equal to 1 by 4 pi squared C F squared. We have to substitute the values of C and F in this formula. Then we can get L equivalent is equal to 1 divided by 4 into 3.14 the whole square. That means pi square. C value is 100 into 10 to the power minus 12. F square that is 100 kilohertz. So 100 into 10 to the power plus 3 the whole square. We can get the equivalent inductance value as 25.33 milli Henry. Okay. So we have obtained the L equivalent value like this. After getting the L equivalent value, we have to use this formula that is L1 plus L2 plus 2M. Here the mutual inductance is given. So we have to use this formula. Equivalent inductance value is 25.33 into 10 to the power of minus 3. That is equal to L1 value is 20 into 10 to the power of minus 3 plus L2 plus 2 into M value. M value is 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 micro. Henry. Okay. Then we have to simplify the terms to get this L2. So here we are having 10 to the power minus 3, 10 to the power minus 3. Here it is 10 to the power minus 6. So we have to convert that into 10 to the power minus 3 values. So 2 into 5 is 10. So 10 into 10 to the power of minus 6 can be written as 0 0.01 into 10 to the power minus 3. So we have to move this value as well as this one to this side as a minus 1 because we are going to find out this L2. So L2 is equal to 5.32 into 10 to the power of minus 3 Henry that is nothing but milli Henry. Okay. Next forward gain. So here M is given. So the formula is L1 plus M divided by L2 plus M. Then we have to substitute the values of L1, L2 and M here to get the HFU value is 3.76. This is the answer, okay?